No, it was just like it's perfect for the 49ers. I mean, they only have to pay him, I think it was like nine or no, like 11 million dollars in guaranteed money or something. Oh, seven, seven. Se- is it? I thought it was up to 11 with different oh, with, with, bonuses. Yeah, and bon- stuff, that, that's what he'll probably what you'll probably get. But at, at, after this year, it seems like none. Of the twenty-seven million, after that they'd just be done with it. I think it's a great move for the 49ers. I don't, I don't know what Sherman was thinking. I think he could have got a little bit more money. He probably would have had to take less money on average because he wouldn't be paid as a top cornerback in the league just because of that injury. Do I think he? I think he can still play as a, at a top level. He's still, let's see, like thirty. 31 maybe 29 or 29 29 I believe I think he can still play at elite cornerback level status but the severity of the injury coming off he would have to take a pay cut yeah and and look at it like this 6'2 lengthy corner a lot was going on with Seattle I was telling people man I I was getting it on the internet a lot I was like look man Pete Carroll doesn't know what he's doing anymore Pete Carroll's relationship with his players got worse Russell Wilson's relationship with Richard Sherman went south. So what does it mean? They're going to pick the quarterback every time. So Richard Sherman was like, oh, man, now I got to leave. Who should I sign with? To me, emotional decision. The Niners allegedly are coming up. We're going to talk about that in a second. So it was like, oh, this is the hot thing to do. So he wanted to go to the Niners. He wants to stick it to the Seahawks. To me, it's an emotional move because this guy's a top five cornerback in this league. 